On my screen now, I have a geo package layer showing local government districts across Great Britain. And I added it in and it was assigned a random color. Now, if I add it in again, just a copy of the same layer and click add and close, it gets assigned a green color. And this is just the way things work in QGIS. When you add a layer, unless there's a predefined style, it will be given a random color. So let's remove one of these and I'm gonna double click and go to symbology. I will style this in a slightly different way. I'll give it a green fill and a white outline. I'll click apply. I'll make that line slightly thinner. Mm -hmm. One will do and click apply. Now I have decided that I want this to be the default style. So if I share the layer with somebody or I add it in again, I want it to appear just like this. In order to do that with geo package, you can hit style and then save as default. If you do this with a shape file, that will save a QML file in the folder where your shape file is. But with geo package, if you hit save as default, you'll be asked where you want to save this default style to. In this case, because I want it to be saved as part of the file, I'll click data source database. Click that button, basically your style is saved as part of the layer and I'll click OK. So if I remove this layer now, start a completely new project, and then go to add in that layer again, what would usually happen if I hadn't done this was it would be given a random color. But if I click add now, we have the color that I styled it with last time, and it's saved as part of this geo package. So that's one of the other advantages of using geo packages. You can embed the style in a layer. Now, if I shared that on the internet with everybody in the world and they added it, it would look exactly the same too. So remember, from style in a geo package via Symbology, it's just save as default.